Bill Mason kicked a 37-yard field goal with just over a minute left in the first half to give the Seminoles a 19-3 lead over the Tigers going into the locker room. Mason once again helped the FSU effort with a 39-yarder midway through the third quarter to give Florida State a 19-point lead. So with the Seminoles now leading 22-3, we rejoin the game at the start of the fourth quarter. Auburn has moved the ball downfield and is looking at first and goal from the Florida State nine-yard line here on ESPN Classic. Ron Franklin and Kevin Kiley in Tallahassee, Florida. This is the 11th play of the drive. It started at the Auburn 16, and they have burned 5.09 off the clock. You see the linebackers creeping up. Gets the pass away into pressure. Intercepted. It is Leroy Butler with his sixth and nope, he caught it out of bounds. That would have been his sixth of the year and his sixth in the last three ball games. This play didn't work early and there's no way it's going to work now. They're trying to get Reggie around the side here, slack, but look at this. There's, the contain is there, the pressure is there, and the pass is not. Question is, did he get a foot in? No, he didn't. Well, that's great team defense. Pressure and coverage. Can't beat that combination, foot on the line. Kevin Grant was the man with the pressure. Second down, Auburn Tigers. Blitz by Carruthers from the backside. Pass is incomplete. Greg Taylor at the four yard line couldn't hold on. It'll be third and goal. with Auburn throughout the year one of the difficulties we said it in the open timing between Reggie Slack the young receivers receivers that were injured they haven't had the unit together when they get close to the end zone the timing has to be even better they had established the running game I'm surprised that they go strictly to the pass here when they get inside the tent well the point that you make both Greg Taylor and also Shane Wasden miss two and a half weeks of the early ball practice because of injury. Pedro Cherry has played as one reception and he's played one game. Third down. Slips is on. Slack gets it away. Tip. Tipped again and incomplete at the 11. Team. They're not adept at pass blocking, not against a team with this kind of speed. Nobody blocked Weiss. John Weiss in there to give Reggie a little problem. He had to throw the ball. But there's no way Auburn wants to be in a passing situation ever when the other team knows they have to pass. When Lyle to attempt the field goal, 27 yards right in the middle of the field. He is good. So the Auburn Tigers have to settle for a field goal. 14-42 left of the ball game. 22-6, Seminoles lead. You want to know what it takes to look like this? Devotion. I am an official devotee. You know who else is a devotee? Sports Illustrated is. You got to see what they gave me. Check this out. It's a personal CD player. This ain't no toy. This is a real CD player, and it rocks. I take this bad boy to work, to the park, even to the stadium. This CD player is loaded. It's got every feature out there. What more could you want? You want to get one of these babies for yourself? It's free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Just call the toll-free number and get six months of SI. That's 25 issues at a measly $1.59 an issue. I'd spend more on pretzels. Plus, use your credit card and they give you a free CD carrying case. And did I mention you get the personal CD player free? Free! 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 
You know, I've seen just about every kind of PC the Compaq makes. Now, though, we've got the Compaq Presario 6000T PC. As my kids would say, it's awesome. It's got the latest Intel Pentium 4 processor so that you can download, surf, play MP3s all at the same time. And you can get it any way you want it. It's what I call a personal computer. Like, this is the Anderson's PC. They're getting a DVD burner, editing software. I see where this family's going. Hollywood. DJ Dan from Scranton, PA. He's getting a CDRW drive so that he can mix and burn his own CDs. Looks like the Everett family got this week's special. That's the Compact Presario 6000 TPC with an Intel Pentium 4 processor, 20 gig hard drive, and we'll give you a $100 instant rebate. So it's just $7.99. You can get in on it too if you hurry. You just call 1-888-921-6716 and get yours direct from Compact. Of course, the best PC we'll ever make is the one we'll make for you. Are you blowing your summer waiting for the fun to start? Then cool it with the instant cool of the new family quick pool. The only portable pool that inflates effortlessly in just three minutes. From Aero, the makers of the Aero Bed. Get the only pool big enough for the whole family that sets up in less than three minutes. Thanks to the powerful hands-free pump, only from Aero. It's lightweight, completely rechargeable, and holds up to three inflations on a single charge. The family quick pool blows other portable pools away in just three minutes and deflates in under one minute with the patented quick release valve. It even rolls up for easy storage, so you'll never have to leave your pool up overnight again. No more dead grass. No more dirty water. Just clean fun where and when you want it. The Family Quick Pool is built from durable heavy gauge vinyl with electronically welded seams featuring eight drink holders to keep your favorite drink handy. The Family Quick Pool is perfect for barbecues, pool parties, or just cooling off in your backyard. Never sweat blowing up another pool again. Call now to order the Aero Family Quick Pool for the incredibly low price of just three easy payments of only $44.99. But wait, if you call in the next 10 minutes, we'll supersize your pool to a bigger 350-gallon family quick pool absolutely free. It would take up to five other blow-up pools to stack up to this super cool pool full of fun. So don't blow it. Pool it with your new family quick pool from Arrow. And ask your operator how you can get a cool new custom-fit pool cover to keep your family quick pool in the swim. But hurry before these hot summer deals blow away. For rush delivery, use your credit card and call 1-800-314-7474. Want to pay by check? Have your checkbook ready and use it just like a credit card. Or send check or money order for $134.97 plus $24.99 shipping and handling to the address on your screen. And be sure to ask your operator how to get the new Family Quick Pool Cover. Call now. Tigers triumph at St. Andrews. Capriati's come back down under. Duke's OT win over Kentucky. Forgettable thriller that became instant classics. They were broadcast live one week, and you saw them on ESPN Classic the next. It doesn't have to be old to be classic. Your favorite teams in games you just have to see again. If you missed it, if you saw it, if you couldn't believe your eyes. See the games everyone talks about as instant classics, only on ESPN Classic. 22-6 our score as the Auburn Tigers prepare to kick it off. kick short to the far side this will come down to Gossie at the 15 hit with an angle high tackle as he gets to the 25 Domenico Anderson defensively there's the drive 14 plays using up five minutes and 27 seconds and Lyle good on the field goal nine of the first 11 plays were running plays and that's where they got their 75 yards from the last three were incomplete passes For Auburn now, what they need to do is knock it loose. It's getting to be knock it loose time. And for Bobby Bowden's ball club, hold on to what you've got. Willis, short drop, batted down at the line of scrimmage. 77, Fernando Horn. Got up and put a big mitt on it. Haven't heard much from Fernando tonight, but he leads the team with six sacks. Watch the reaction. Short drop by Peter Tom, and looks like it hit Fernando right in the forehead. That's why you wear a helmet. He's 6'5", and he was up pretty high. Went off his pad, second down and 10 for the state. 
reverse. Dawson. Up the far sideline. Inside with the cut at the 40. And finally tackled at the 43. Dennis Wallace saved it. 19-yard gain by Florida State. Larry Young is right there. Watch 99. I mean, he is there on the right of your screen. He goes too deep. You never get deeper than the ball carrier. As deep as the ball carrier, once he misses, he was the guy. There you go, 99, right there. You never go deeper than it. There's nobody back there. You want to be up where everybody is that has the ball. Willis behind splitbacks. Throws it to the near sideline. It's Dossie again. And being pushed back as the advancement will take it to the 48. Eric Ramsey defensively for the Auburn Tigers. This is a tough moment for Bobby Bowden having to sit on a lead. He doesn't know how to sit on a lead. Talking to the offensive and defensive people. They say Bobby says, I want somebody to kick. I don't care if it's us. I just want somebody to kick the ball. Let's do something wild. Four and three-quarter ball games. Pressure on Willis. Pass incomplete. Anthony, the intended receiver, and either he ran a wrong route. It looked as though he was disgusted with himself. He stopped. Prime time review. Let's check it out. Notre Dame coming from behind three different times in the ball game. Tony Rice, 99 yards rushing. The Irish won it. Big one of the Southeastern Conference. Alabama right now with the driver's seat as they win by 17 over the uh, Volunteers. Stacy with a huge day. 283 with four touchdowns. One of those is 75 yard run. Willis running for his life, gets by one tackler. Pass is almost intercepted and knocked down by Eric Ramsey. John Wilson was the man who had a hold of Peter Tom Willis. Got the pass away anyway, and the Auburn Tigers almost came up with the turnover. Well, you rarely see Auburn in man coverage, but they come with the blitz, and they get to Peter Tom, and Peter Tom makes an error, certainly, at this point in the game. Look at that. Look at the pressure. And Ramsey, a half a step away from picking that off and going for big yardage. Ward with the punt from his own 35. This is a line drive. Wiseman loses the ball, scramble at the 17, and Florida State has recovered the fumble. <laughs> Looks like Bill Reagans came up with the ball, and now the discussion. It is first and 10, Florida State. And the Seminoles have a player shaken up. Against Tennessee, Shane Wasden dropped two punts. He drops this one, and you have to feel bad for him. Hit him right in the chest, and here come the Seminoles. Hit off his pads and took the bounce. And the ball at the 18-yard line. Reggie Freeman, a reserve outside linebacker, was the man who was lumping off the field for the Seminoles. Willis, play action, drills the ball, almost intercepted again. Reggie Johnson, the intended receiver. Eric Ramsey had come up with the football, but he caught it out of bounds. Uh, he, he never had it. He never had it. Auburn has decided they're going to get some pressure, and Ramsey has proven to be quite a man-to-man -man, uh, defense player. Watch, watch him cover. Watch the closing speed here. A little hand on him, and then boom. Turns around, that's great coverage. Now, he never had the ball, see? Never had it. I don't know if he held onto it out of bounds. But pretty good coverage from Eric Ramsey. And Lee in the carry, hit in the backfield, and is going to be knocked down by Quentin Riggins for a two-yard loss. Auburn now has completely reversed their defensive philosophy. Penetration is the way to stop Florida State. They do so many things. If you get there quick, you cut down their options, and Auburn is doing that now. They're coming hard, playing man-to-man -man, uh, defense, and causing some problems for the Seminoles. LSU has cut that Kentucky lead to six points. 
to Lane. Shocking no Ole Miss by 11. They're in the fourth. And Lee behind his blocker gets outside at the 15, and he will take it to the 13-yard line. Corey Barlow is the man who had a hold of his jersey. And from the Florida State bench, we see number 43, Bill Mason, who will come on to attempt the field goal. And this one will be from in the vicinity of 30 yards. Again, the very fact that Bobby Bowden is known for trick plays makes you hesitate before you block this thing. Kick is on the way, and no good. Off to the right, and again, Kevin, it looked as though Brad Johnson had a little trouble handling the snap. Kicking game is something that uh, Bobby Bowden obviously is it's very important to him. And uh, they missed two tonight. Good stand by the Auburn defense. That was an outstanding defensive series when they needed it. That guy's got Well, we talked about what he had done as far as bold performances at Auburn University. The uh, die way to the National Football League, if you will. Look at that. 41 players in the NFL draft. UCLA along with Penn State close behind 41 youngsters. Slack, good protection, now runs up into the pocket and he will be knocked down at the 20-yard line back to the line of scrimmage and it's Henry Ostozuski, number 74. Well, he wanted to throw it to Alexander Wright on a stop-and-go pattern. The problem was the defense let him stop and was standing there when he was going. And when Reggie saw that there was no one to throw it to, he had to try to run. That was an excellent uh, defensive play by the, the seven-hole defensive backfield. Makes it to Daniel again. Pressure coming backside. Pass is almost intercepted and dropped by Dedrick Dodge. Reggie Slack was looking in the face of Anthony Moss. That's the reason he hurried the throw. Okay, Auburn all out of whack when they have to pass, and uh, State knows they're going to pass, and you can see this, this ball is... The receivers, Alexander Wright got hit there, and uh, the receivers are not finding the open spot. Reggie's not sure of the, of the uh, pass protection. Very difficult for them. This half, Slack is only 2 of 8 for 27 yards. Blitz coming from up the middle. Running for his life as he delivers it incomplete at midfield. Odell Higgins was the man who got to him. And again, an ovation for the Seminole defense. Richie Nell, waiting for the snap back at his own six-yard line. Good high-hanging spiral this time. Buckley falls down at the 37-yard line, so there's a break in the action with 10.50 left in the ballgame. I'm going to be late for my own wedding. No worries. My Subaru Outback's more stable in a turn than a Lexus RX 300. Gets better gas mileage than a Ford Explorer. And like every Subaru, has the added traction of all-wheel drive. Subaru Outback, the world's first sport utility wagon. Ah, the rugged outdoorsy type. Nice choice. See your local Subaru dealer for information on financing as low as 1.9% APR. Real classics. It's more than just movies. It's an inside look at sports' greatest films from the cast and crew that made them classics. A league of their own left a lasting impression on actress Lori Petty. We had concussions, broken noses, broken fingers. There's no crying in baseball! Tom is like, this is my dream come true. I'm playing baseball in Wrigley Field with 150 girls. A league of their own. How did you do that? 9 p.m. Sunday, only on ESPN Classic. You know, most men get pretty shook up about losing their hair. But today, many of them are learning about Bosley Medical. They use your own living hair to fill in the thin spots. Just look at that. It really works. You can treat it like real hair because it is real hair. 
your own naturally growing hair, so you don't have to worry about it. Bosley Medical is the world's most experienced hair restoration practice. For over 25 years, they have performed more than 130,000 procedures using the innovative micrografting techniques pioneered by founder Dr. L. Lee Bosley. Each surgeon of Bosley Medical is board certified and individually trained by me. So if you want to have your own naturally growing hair back, call this number for more information. We'll send you this free video and in-depth guidebook that gives you the real facts about hair restoration. There's no cost and absolutely no obligation. So do it for yourself. Call now and get the real results you've been looking for. It's your real hair. You can't do better than real. In the 1980s, the Auburn-Florida State Series has been a high-scoring affair. Like in 1984, when this Auburn fumbled kickoff return resulted in a 60-yard touchdown at Auburn's 42-41 win. In 85, it was Bo Jackson rambling for 176 yards in a 59-27 Auburn rout. In 87, Danny McManus had three touchdown passes in FSU's 34-6 victory. But last year's Sugar Bowl meeting produced a defensive battle. Florida State won 13-7. And what you're seeing in 1989, the first of 10 straight meetings between these two clubs, a new contract, home and home. Fake to Amp Lee, pass over the middle, tipped and intercepted. Frankie Stankunas for Auburn at the 41-yard line. This is just simply a bad pass or a poor pass by Peter Tom Willis. It's there, and look, you can see it wobble in the air. It just got away from him. Stankunas playing center field, tipped it and caught it. Look at the ball. Look at the nose on that thing, Ron. The nose of the ball, it just sailed on him. If Dossie had even gotten a finger on it, Stankunas, I don't believe, would have come up with the interception. Slack with the pass, throws it complete. That is Dale Overton as he brings it into Seminole territory at the 44. Overton is a former walk-on. Pat Dye knows he's in trouble. He knows his team is not a great passing team, but he also knows they don't quit. And now they're in Seminole territory. They need to score quick. Still 10 and a half minutes to go in this game. Two, uh, two touchdowns and eight-point conversion, uh, two-point conversion. Daniel comes to the left side with the head and shoulder down to the 41 as Kirk Carruthers will wrap him up. It's going to be a gain of about three and a half. I'm impressed with Stacy Daniel. He's a, he's a real tough back, and every time he gets the ball, he runs up in there. You need to think about these two clubs meeting all the way through 1999 and the wealth of talent on both sides of the line of scrimmage. It's got to be exciting for football fans in this part of the country that it's going to happen. Danley again in the carry. This time there is nothing. Kevin Grant, the first man, number 47. And then you could see almost the remainder of that Seminole defense coming up to knock him down at the line of scrimmage. It'll be third down and one. The thing about the Auburn running backs, both of them, Danley and Joseph, is they're not breakaway backs. If there's a hole and they can power up in there, they're very, very tough, but you saw how tentative he was on that play. He didn't see a hole, and yet he didn't cut back either. Not that type of a back. They are the larger backs, where, on the contrary, with Dexter Carter and also Amp Lee, you do have the breakaway big yardage speed. Florida State shows blitz. They stay at home in the middle. Pass is overthrown. Pedro Cherry just could not get up any higher off that 6-1 frame. Bill Reagans was coming on a safety blitz. And on fourth down, the special team has been called back to the far sideline. Pat Dye saying, we will go for it on fourth down. So the situation, they need the 34-yard line of Florida State. All night, Florida State has blitzed them in these situations. And what they need is Reggie Slack and his receivers to both read hot and find an open man. Here they come with the blitz in the middle. Slack rolls the pocket. Still looking, drills the ball, incomplete. And Florida State will take it over. 
And a marker now we see right on the edge of the side. the quarterback. That way. There's the call. And a reprieve for the Tigers of Auburn. Roughing the quarterback. And with that personal foul, the change will move across the way. Reagans. After he threw it. There's Pat helping out along with the entire team. Excuse me, but did you see that? It's a first down. You know, in that wild one, 42 41, Pat Dye came out on the field to talk with the officials who wound up with 30 yards and penalties. He said, I had a point to make. A point that couldn't be made from the sideline, evidently. <laughs> Obviously, he wanted it from close range. So the 15-yard penalty, and rather than Florida State holding on downs, it is a first and 10 Auburn from the 26. But the Seminoles lead it by 16. Far sideline, and it is complete to Overton. Inside the five. Dell Overton is a walk-on, a walk-on, and he's been struggling. He's been injured. Haven't heard much from him all night, but he's wide open on this play. Reggie Slack gets the protection he needs, and he is wide open. Joseph with a great block there. Look at this thing. Laid it out to the uh, sideline. Overton makes the catch. Stanley on the sweep, turns it up inside the four, and at the three, Keith Carter, the first man, along with Ostaszewski, to make contact. Toss sweep, very difficult on the goal line. Everyone is coming defensively. You need a little room to run. Danley did the right thing. He turned it back upfield, but that's a tough play to make work. Danley, 21 carries, 85 tough, tough yards. Danley hit in the backfield, Leroy Butler. Oh, my goodness, what a defensive play. And that's the kind of big play that Bobby Bowden talked about, that they had to start having, and they're getting it. Two tight ends, nobody to cover, and the I formation. Here comes Leroy, right inside the block. The I formation just takes such a long time to get to the line of scrimmage. Butler, bang, right in there. Great play, great read off the formation. to the war chip. Reaches a three of the meter from the four-yard line. Joseph tries to turn the corner, and he is in for the touchdown. Joseph, 1987, a medical hardship. He's come all the way back, and this is just a great run. Blocking okay. He takes care of Butler with a fake. And now look at this effort. Oh, that's terrific play by James Joseph. Extended the football across the goal line as he went diving for the cone. And it is 22 to 12 with the two-point conversion upcoming. And Auburn has asked for the ball just inside the left hash mark. Well, if they're going to roll out, look for Meeks and King. If they're going to roll out or run, they will probably go that way, to the right. That's where they're set. Flag with the pass, and the flag has it to Danley for the two-point conversion. Seven minutes, ten seconds left to play in this ball game, and with the two-point conversion, an eight-point game. All right, this is Auburn football. These are two tough yards. That was one rough drive, and the penalty that Reagan's got on roughing the passer was the key play. Reggie Slack, nice job by the Auburn people.
resistance becomes strength, becomes power. The power to change and reshape your entire body. This is Bowflex, an entire gym in one easy to use machine. So powerful, it delivers over 60 health club quality exercises with up to 410 pounds of resistance in any room in your home. Strength training with Bowflex is so effective that we guarantee you'll get the results you want in six weeks or less. One simple workout, 20 minutes a day, three days a week. You can target every area you want to work on. Upper body, abs, lower body, and even aerobic exercise. Bowflex is real. The results are real. And you can own one with no money down and payments as low as $33 per month. For a free video and brochure, call or go online at bowflexdirect.com. Do the research, listen to real customers, then place your order online and get started. Working out with Bowflex is easy and it's effective. You can get results like tighter abs, firmer legs, stronger arms, and a great chest without stepping foot into a gym. When I first started, I was 280 pounds. Now I'm 246. I mean, I've had my kids even say, Dad, your arms are looking bigger, your chest looks bigger. Yeah, I started out at 215 pounds, and I got down to 160 pounds. I lost four inches in my waist, uh, gained like two inches in my chest. Uh, my clothes fit me so much better. I feel good about myself. Uh, I'm in better shape now at 50 probably than I was when I was in my 20s. I'm just sorry I didn't find a Bowflex 40 years ago. Take the Bowflex challenge and get the power to change your body in six weeks. Call right now for a free video and brochure. Bowflex, the power is yours. Every athlete has a story. You just knew you were in the presence of greatness. A story that inspires. He was winning Wimbledon with one hand, then fighting the ills of this world with the other. That brings us together. When Magic announced that he had the AIDS virus, Bird broke down and cried. And defines our history. Jack and Tina were thinking. He said, this is America. These are their stories. This is the award-winning Sports Century. 8 p.m. weeknights on ESPN Classic. to Dossie's side at the 7. At the 23 and takes it out across the 25-yard line as Alvin Nash is at the bottom of that step. And now for the Seminoles, it is incumbent upon that offense to not only get something going offensively, but to burn some time off the clock. 7.03 left. Well, you're going to see a different Auburn defense here now. They had eight. Well, here's eight plays, 58 yards. Joseph with a great four-yard run and then the two-point conversion. You're going to see them come and maybe play a little man, uh, man coverage here now. That is the big play when Reagan's got the 15-yard penalty. It would have been Florida State football. Willis out of the backfield, throws it complete. Ampley breaks off a tackle and comes out to the 35. What a great individual effort by Lee. Stan Kunis finally put a stopper on it. You know, Kevin, I'll tell you, Dexter Carter is an extremely good back. But Amp Lee, wow. You don't replace, it's like you reload with him. They say they call him electric. Amp, you get that? Amp, he is electric. That was a terrific catch. Straight ahead, short yardage, close to the first down, around the 37. David Rocker, number 95, steps up into the hole to make the hit. The Auburn Tigers trailing the Florida State Seminoles, and that man right there trying to do something that nobody has done to Pat Dodd. That is beat him three straight times. And Coach Bowden wants a timeout. Steps up and calls timeout. So with five minutes, 51 seconds left in the ball game, the Seminoles will talk it over as they have a third down at about a foot. 22-14, Seminoles on top. Next stop, Holiday Inn. Double points. All right. Who is this? He's a legal attorney. Hi, D. David Dodmeyer, attorney at law. 
I've been retained by your son, Mark L. Harvey, to ensure he receives his fair share of Holiday Inn's double priority club points. You don't need a lawyer to get your points. That's fine. I'd still like to go on the trip. Forget it, Matlock! <laughs> Pay with your Visa card and earn double points or double miles. Hit the road with Holiday Inn and get more. Long ago, when the gift of fire came to Earth, the first keepers of the flame emerged. They were the ones who nurtured it and preserved it. In time, they learned the pleasures of the open flame. And they passed this learning along across the bridge of years. And so fire came into our modern times, and a new keeper of the flame emerged one who's brought all of man's skills to bear, making it easier than ever before to grill over an open flame so the tradition could continue at least for another 10,000 years. Charcoal, keepers of the flame. It's tough not having a car. With immediate claim service, GEICO gets you back on the road fast. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I have Pass something to tell you. You. <laughs> you first. No, you go. I'm not ready to get married. Okay. So, what was your news? I won the lottery. $63 million. Think about it this way, man. After taxes, that's only like $28, 30 million. That's it. Yeah. Life is best told over a great tasting Miller Lite at a place called Miller Time. Shannon? Hey, it's Steve. What's going on? Tallahassee, Florida. Ron Franklin and Kevin Kiley. We have 5.51 left of the ball game. Situation, Florida State. They need about a foot. It is third down. Straight up the middle and close to the first down. I think he will have it. And around the 37, and from where the linesman has come in from across the way, it would appear that he has picked it up, but not by very much. And they're going to ask for the change. This is pretty good defense by Auburn. If they did get it, it's close. Watch the white uh, hats coming. Not a whole lot of room there. Bennett looked like he ran into a wall. All depends on the spot. He got it. First and ten seven holes. That one's huge as far as the clock. With 5.45 remaining. And Florida State on top by eight. Peter Tom Willis grew up in the state of Alabama. As Kevin said back in the first half. His idol, Pat Sullivan. A little ceramic doll on his uh, counter there. Pat Sullivan doll. He was a kid. Pass on first down. Far sideline. Dossie wide open. Puts on a move down the sideline and he shoved out of bounds. And Stan Konis saved a touchdown. Boy, if he doesn't get to him, it is track meet time. Auburn simply can't, must play tighter. They're playing soft. You just can't play soft on a guy like this. Dawsey, give him too much room and he'll do that to you. And then he's down the sideline. Auburn has to tighten up. They have to take a chance. You get what you pay for here. Take a chance. Make a big play. I like Dawsey. He'll catch it any place. Loves the middle. Just wherever. And has a great, great burst. Six catches for 81 yards for him tonight. Amp Lee on the draw. Gets outside of the right. Breaks off one tackle, but will not get by Stan Kunis. He is finally stopped at the 34. And that is close to another Seminole first down. And in fact, they're going to have a down to play with here with a second and one. A couple of good blocks here. Reggie Johnson, the tight end on Oglesby, 94. 
just pushes him outside, creates a seam. John Brown, the tackle, you see right behind him, John Brown, number 50, just laying on a player, took him out. All that added up to Ed Lee, making another eight yards. Oglesby needs to defeat that block. Get off of that. Willis fakes the draw. Going to go long and a misread in the route. That one goes down to the two-yard line. He was looking for Dazi, and he had curled at about the 23. Devils came back, beat Montreal in the NHL. You know, when you think about Bobby Bowden, here's a team protecting a lead, throwing bombs, corner routes. And he says, he tells us, he says, I want to do what they don't think I'm going to do. Well, I said might run quarterback sneaks because nobody ever, I don't think I've ever seen Bobby Bowden run quarterback sneak under any circumstances. You know, come to think of it, I don't either. Two major goals for this ball club. Top 10 and play in a major bowl. Pitch back comes to Lee. Puts his shoulder down. First and 10, Florida State. John Wiley up from his free safety position. John is out of the state of Florida, Opelika. Tony Omens, number 70. He's the third man in. A little bit of a bold block, a pull. And here he comes, Bennett with a seal block to the left of the screen. Yeomans downfield, guys holding their blocks. That's some outstanding blocking by Florida State, a team that's known as a passing team. They can block for the run when they have to have it, and they've had to have it on this drive. This is Bennett. Tries to turn the corner, does. At the 25, and now down at the 22, Stan Kunis. And the safeties having to make too many tackles right now for the Auburn Tigers. That penetration is gone, Ron. That was a nice run by Bennett. And another interesting call, the fullback across the formation. It's almost a misdirection play, and it worked very well. Clock is now down to 3 minutes, 39 seconds. Eight plays, 56 yards. But the, the biggest number, actually, is the one on the right, because Florida State Advancing the football and the chains, but also running the clock down. Leading by eight. And Lee breaks off the tackle inside the 20, and that is another Florida State first down. He did go out of bounds to stop the clock, and he now over 100 yards. chant gets louder and louder and I'm sure if you're wearing an Auburn uniform it is really magnified as we have 312 left to play Florida State 22 Auburn 14 draw play this is Lee takes it to the 14 as David Rocker stayed at home and made the play defensively next to Carter Injury, and we have not seen him tonight. But Ampli has filled in Ampli. Ampli yes. took my line. Carter gets a week to rest and to mend, as you know who. Miami coming to town one week from tonight, and of course we will have that ball game right here on ESPN. They fake the reverse. Lee inside the 10 and down to the 7. The crowd was waiting, looking for the reverse to be run, and they faked it. Uh, Auburn all over this thing. I mean, the defense was there, but watch number 42. This is just athletic ability. Oh, there's Ogletree. Now, he, he's got the outside contain. Watch Amp Lee. Whoop. Goodbye. He left two in the dirt there. They bring the chains in to uh, check the measurement. Let me correct something I said a while ago. I, I said that 
John Wiley was from the state of Florida. Opelika, of course, is in Alabama, not in Florida. My apologies uh, to, uh, to John. Two minutes, 19 seconds showing on the clock. As Florida State jumped out big in the first half, the Auburn Tigers, it took a while for them to get untracked here in the second half as they finally scored late in the third. But they are down by eight to the Florida State team looking to win their fifth in a row. After coming out of the gates 0-2, losing to Southern Mississippi and then to Clemson. But defensively, they have been a brand new ball club and it has presented a lot of opportunities for the offense. That's right, there really wasn't too much wrong with that offense. Uh, Eric Hayes has made a tremendous difference in the Seminole defense, playing defensive catch. Pitch goes to Lee. They try to turn the corner. He will be stopped at the five, but that is enough for the Florida State first down. Barlow was at the bottom of the pile. He got him, but it is first and goal, Florida State. you ask a guy to come in and reserve that's more than uh, than a good job 26 rushes 126 yards more tonight than he had done the rest of the season and I'm sure that, that Miami is taking note of that also Miami is scouting this game tonight though Nelson linebacker coach Tom Turberville is down there watching Loses the football, scramble for it, and Auburn has recovered at the 15-yard line. Eric Ramsey comes up with the football. One minute, 22 seconds left in the ball game, and the Auburn Tigers all of a sudden. Well, I have, it. I have to say this. Auburn's philosophy of defense is to give you a little bit, a little bit, and make something happen. And here it is, Ogletree again. The great player gets his hand on it. And here comes Ramsey to pick it up. They gave little by little by little all the way down the field, finally got the turnover. Swing pass, Joseph has one blocker in front, out over the 30-yard line, and a marker from deep downfield. Butler put the stopper on him. Gain of 15, but is it going to be erased? Flipping. Oh. Boy, that's a tough penalty there. Pat died. A little weak side screen. They got Joseph loose on the sideline. It's got to come back. On the offense, half the distance, still first down. The back judge went trotting over to the far side of the field to give the number of who, and there it is, the push in the back. Johnson got a hand in the back, and that is the reason the play has come back to the 13-yard line. Slack runs up into the pocket at the 20, breaks by a tackle still on his feet and pushed out of bounds by Leroy Butler up at the 35, and that is an Auburn first down plus about 13 or plus 10. Game of 23 on the play. Well, this wanted to be a screen. What a heady play by Reggie Slack. He needed to go to a screen. He couldn't get it. He broke up field. Could have gone out of bounds, but knew if he got the first down that the clock would stop. So he took it up field, picked up another 10 yards. Big play. That's Auburn's longest run of the night. Slack over the middle. Oh, what a hit on Joseph. Good heavens. Abbott, number 23, is the man who came up and lowered the boom on him. And a timeout has been called for the Auburn Tigers. 49 seconds left in the ballgame. Florida State, 22. Auburn, 14. 
From oil changes to brakes to tune-ups, customers feel confident knowing Midas Total Car Care has their car running in top shape. She's running great. Let's jump the bridge. But where do you go? You go. What are you gonna do? Total car care. Midas, we do that. Oh yeah! Grand slam home run for Ripter. And Quinn will win it for the Padres. A star for the ages for Tony Gwynn, number 3,000. If you have debt and are tired of getting calls and letters from bill collectors, we can help. Debt Free is one of the nation's largest nonprofit debt consolidation services. Started getting into debt when, probably when I was about 25, 26. I've been in the military for about 11 years, and uh, when all your statements are coming home and you're not there to actually see how much you have to pay, you know, and you just let it go until you come home, all the creditors are calling. I had to do something. I had to do something to help me out. We have relationships with over 50,000 creditors. We will work with these creditors to lower or even eliminate your interest rates and consolidate your debt into one low, comfortable monthly payment. I seen debt free and debt free was much easier program to get into. It was easy. What you're paying in bills right now, you could be paying for half of that with the debt free program. I recommend it to, to anybody. Call the number on your screen and leave the rest to us. Debt free is more than just our name. It's our commitment to you. 49 seconds left. Auburn with a second and five. Fumble the snap from center. It's on the ground, and I believe that Slack made the recovery at the 40. And that's what the blitz, or the apparent blitz, will do to a quarterback, make him very anxious. Well, that's exactly what happened, Ron. Timeout, Auburn. It's her second timeout. They have not blocked the blitz at all tonight. And what happened here, Reggie saw everybody, see all the Florida State people lined up showing blitz. And Reggie's trying to move people around audible. He forgot one thing, the ball. You can't blame him. The, the protection against the blitz has really been a problem and a key to this game for Auburn. Pat Sullivan with the orange jacket on, talking with Reggie Slack on the Auburn side of the field. And of course, on the Florida State side, the defense huddled over there, as you can see Leroy Butler and Carruthers. Coach Chuck Amato is the gentleman with the headset down over the back of his head. Well, in 84, they played here, 42-41. Tonight, in what appeared to be, it looked as though it might be a rout, or at least, you know, uh, a ball game that could get out of hand. But was it Auburn came back, and now we've got a situation. Florida State still with a comfortable eight-point lead, but Auburn's still got a little, a little bit of breath left. This is going to be a great series. the pocket he has got a world of running room now it closes down and he takes about the, the 48 yard line enough for the first down he needs to line him up right away clock will be stopped momentarily with 28 seconds left in the ball game Auburn quickly back to the line of scrimmage now the clock goes back in Gets the pass away, complete over the middle. Greg Taylor gets outside at the 35, and he steps out of bounds at the 34. Dedrick Dodge finally pushes him out. What a block by James Joseph. He blocked four guys. Oh, watch this. Slatka guiding it over the middle. Watch to the right of your screen. Watch number 10 come in here. 
There's four guys about ready to get him. You won't going to see those guys anymore. And that's saving a touchdown. What a block by James Joseph. Here it is, number 10. One, two, three, four, forget it. They're gone. Look like dominoes. He's got a spare. Slack delivers the pass. It is caught inbounds at the 18-yard line by Overton. We had to wait and see if he was going to get the one foot down, and he did. Well, this is ballet stuff here. Again, Reggie Slack showing what he can do. Good rollout, nice throw. Watch over it. Oh, get that toe in there. Well, we got one play, six seconds to go, and this is it. 16 yards in the pass play. Here it comes. Looks by Florida State, Slack will run and he will be caught as the clock runs out. Bobby Bowden and Pat Thigh ran across the field to greet one another. And the point I was making just a while ago, they have great respect for one another. And tonight, I think, is just a, a good example of what the next nine years are going to be like between these two ball clubs. One more look at that last play. Well, again, Florida State comes with the blitz. It had the same effect it had all night. Reggie had nowhere to go with it. He had to pull it down, watch the clock. They have one timeout left. He's down. Time. One second left on the clock, but the official has to react to it. By the time he reacts, no time left. The Florida State wins a thriller. What an opener for this series. 22 to 14, Florida State wins it. But look on the defensive side of the football, and that's where the damage was done. Seven sacks for a loss of 68 yards. That's what you can give credit for that Florida State defense for the season. And that's the great difference. The Seminoles won it. That's three straight over Auburn.